Today's adventure is brought to you by a national park called Shenandoah in the great region of Appalachia. The birthplace of bluegrass and, and that's it. That's all I found. So we, a couple of Yankees, have seemed to exhausted all vacation ideas in our part of the country, New England, so we're forced to travel south of the Mason-Dixon line in order to find new vacation ideas, places to relax, and places to hike. I say we, because I choose my pronouns wisely, because I got a group of stragglers with me today. Introducing Ms. Stacy, my, my most favorite wife ever, and Mr. Arik. <laughs> The world's first dinosaur-human hybrid. <laughs> Let me hear your dino cry. <laughs> there you have it, folks. So, Shenandoah National Parks, uh, one of their big claim to fame is they are the national park that is closest to any major metropolitan area. We are only about 75 miles outside of Washington, D.C. I love me a good juxtaposition, and you can't get any better than, you know, a national park shining right outside the shadows of our nation's capital. Uh, our hike today, uh, we are doing probably the most popular hike in all of the national park, and arguably one of the more popular hikes in all the East Coast. We are hiking Old Rag Mountain. Uh, this hike, much to the chagrin of my partners in crime, it's gonna be about nine miles. So that's gonna be quite long. Um, a lot of it is uh, unnecessarily walking. The parking lot is a mile away from the trailhead, so there's two miles right there just, you know, getting to where you got to go. Uh, but the mountain itself is only about 3,300 feet in elevation, so kind of baby standards compared to what we're used to. Uh, what I'm used to anyway. I'm not sure about them. But no crazy waterfalls, no crazy climbing today. Uh, just some fun climbing. It should be fun. Uh, like I said, this is one of the more popular hikes on the East Coast. Uh, the reason for that is is because there's a lot of really neat rock structures that we're going to be able to maneuver through when we get up there and also it's locale like i said it's right next to one of the huge population centers on the east coast so people visit here a lot and they hike this mountain as they should uh, because it's beautiful out here uh, let's just hope we don't see too much litter so Shenandoah National Park is obviously named after the Shenandoah Valley and that was named by the Native Americans that lived in the area years and years ago. Mostly Iroquois and Shawnee Indians. Um, they're not even sure who, which one of those tribes named it uh, Shenandoah. It's been named Shenandoah for so so long that both tribes just accepted it that that was their, uh, their name for it. Shenandoah in, stands for Daughter of the Stars and that is based off of a legend from uh, the Native Americans. Basically after the creator created the world, the stars came down. I take it in the story that the stars are kind of like the angels for their creator. Uh, and they used to worship this ceremony at this big lake surrounded by mountains. Well, one day during the ceremony, uh, they heard a huge crack and the lake started draining and they all got very upset because this was the most beautiful place on the creation's land. And now they can't hold their ceremony any here, any, excuse me, anymore. So they traveled the world looking for a different place to uh, hold the ceremony. And they found this beautiful valley with a river running through it, surrounded by mountains. So they started holding their ceremony there. And sooner or later they realized this is the same exact spot that the lake was. After it drained, it created this beautiful valley. So the stars took particles from their uh, illuminated beings and put it in the water there. So that's why this valley is known as Daughter of the Stars. Uh, not the greatest of origin stories, but what are you gonna do? I didn't make it up. Um, this is uh, a cool fact is this area is the biggest population of black bear in the United States. Hey, let me hear your bear cry. There you go, folks. Uh, hopefully that was a war cry and not a mating call. We don't want to attract any. Um, and also, allegedly, uh, Black Panther used to roam this uh, this area. Uh, that's not too far-fetched. Uh, we're in central Virginia, and just south of us is North Carolina, and their NFL team is the Panthers. So if they got Panthers down there, 
it's not that far of a stretch of imagination that they roamed up here into these, these wildernesses. Uh, but even more interestingly now, when you get any bass wilderness like this, you're always going to have sightings of Bigfoot. So yes, Bigfoot is thought to live out here as well. Um, I don't know what your stances are on Bigfoot. I'm kind of a skeptic, but with that being said, I think it would be pretty fascinating if he did exist. Having a North American ape, great ape, would turn the sciences upside down. It'd be pretty neat to do, uh, but I doubt we're going to see him today. Uh, it would make for a very viral video if we did, though. I don't know what to say. You know? Well, are you having fun? Yeah. Yeah? A lot of walking, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All these, you know what these trails are called? These are called switchbacks. Switchbacks? <laughs> yeah. Switchbacks. So, they do them so the trails don't get erosion when it rains. Mm-hmm. Erosion is when all the water comes down on the trails and wipes all the dirt away. Mm-hmm. So they'll do switchbacks so that they can stop that from happening. It makes for a lot more hiking, but it's a lot less steep. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a trade-off. You're not tired though, are you? No. No, you can do this all, all day. You're like Captain America, right? I can do this all day. Well, what are you going to do? Well, if you can't fit, I certainly can't. See those numbers right there? Yeah. That's for when people get in trouble and they got to call the rangers and say, Hey, we're stuck at R18. Come save us. Uh, yeah. Good question. Oh. It's a little slick. <laughs> Shush. Uh, it is a little slick, not because it's wet, but like I said, this is one of the more popular trails in the East Coast. So. Sooner or later, when you get a lot of people walking on this granite, uh, it just smooths it down over time. So it's not super, super bad yet, but it could be better. Whoa! This way. Hey. You gotta keep, keep your eyes open for the blue dots. <laughs> the arrow says it is though. Yeah, I think that's right, Dean. Okay. That'd go down. Yeah, it says go down. How do we get down? I don't know, but let's hand the camera off to your mother. Oh my. How do we get down? There's a step right there. Yep. Put your other foot there. Put your other. Put yes. your put one foot on this wall. No, the other. Foot. Switch feet. Switch there. Feet. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then bring that foot down on there. Come on, this is dips. You know how to do dips. Uh, the lemon squeeze. Be that way. Don't hit your head. Don't hit your head. I might have to slide down. Like this stuff. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, put your foot down that little hole right there. I got Easy it. Easy peasy. All right.
Okay, okay. you want to jump from here over to here. All right, I want you to jump. Good, jump down. Whoa! You got it? Yeah, I got it. You left me. I got this one. Jump down here, boy. Okay. Let me slide. <laughs> Yeah, you can just slide down and I'll catch you. Just come on right down. I'll catch you. Whoa, we Good job. Don't do that way. Go that way. Let's go. Let's go. No, I don't think. Hey, see all those holes in that tree? Keep going, keep going. Well, your butt really shouldn't be involved in hiking. It's from a woodpecker. Oh. I didn't know what was hiking on that tree. Yep, hey, we're moving, we're moving. That's gonna be another fun part. I uh, can't wait. Can't wait either. Squeezy. Go around. Go. Come. Gotta climb up. Hey, no, look for blue. Blue. Yeah, go. It's nice and smooth, dear. Nice and smoothie. Let's see what they see where we're headed. Uh oh. Oh, I'm sitting here. Oh no. Uh. Oh, cool. Let's keep going. Follow the trail. First challenge. Our second challenge. Not only first. Yeah. Oh Not man. Second. I thought we were gonna have to climb up there. Son of a gun. Maybe I will anyway. Yeah, we're going anyway. Oh, it's very climbable. We're going at we have to go anyways. Yeah, make sure that rock doesn't fall on you. <laughs> This is the high one. Yeah. Nature's stairwell again. Easy steps. This is all formed naturally too by these both rocks separating, mm. making the natural mm. stairway. Like, finally, we're out of this. Yeah, I think we're climbing up here, kid. Oh. Come on. I can squeeze through this, right? So, like I said, this is a very popular hike, so we ran into a whole bunch of people. We're just going to take a break, let them pass, so we can get some a little more solitude. But here's our breaking point. Not too shabby. Not too shabby either. With the pleasant sounds of a woodpecker off in the distance. What's the matter, dear? You're very vocal. 
it's the rock climbing, okay? This is rock climbing? Yes. Is this rock climbing, boy? Yes, it is. All right, show, show us what you can do. All right, look where you're going. All right, this foot, go. There you go. If you can squeeze from behind. Yeah, you worry about you. We got us. Oh, don't mess up Bob. Spider web. <sighs> You're way at the bottom. I'm... Or both at the top. Now which way? Blue, up there. Let's go. I heard people. I know. You ready? <laughs> that was a high step. Come on. Crawl. Get down on your belly and crawl. There you go. Good job. Right on my knees. So so, I see a blue right there. Do what I did. It's now what I did. Yes. And then the other foot. And then the other foot. Where? Up. Good job. Ugh. We're coming. We're right All right, you lead the way. Whoops. Hey, look, blue that way. Gotta, gotta go up. Go up. You need help? Yeah. No, you don't. You can go up that way. Here, yeah. There you go. go. Get, it right, right. Get in there. Uh, Good job. Do you know how many numbers there are? Nope. <laughs> you got it. There you go, Spider-Man. How many superheroes are we going to talk about today? We already got Black Panther, Captain America, Spider-Man. I don't know. Wonder Woman. <laughs> we didn't Far from it. So loud. Big reach. Daddy! Daddy! No, you're fine. It's wait for your mother. No, get up in there. Good. Oof. Got this one? You got it? No. You need some chalk? Yeah. Put my foot. Yeah, you put it up there. Shit. Wrap her, wrap her arm around and pull yourself up. Rock ain't gonna move. Ooh. Yeah, just like that. Grab your left arm oh. around. Hug it. Yes. Perfect. Oh. Swing yourself over. Good. Use of my upper body strength. Who said hiking is a lower body? <laughs> what, my booty gets stuck? Yeah. Booty. Booty. Hey, where are you going, boy? Come back this way, come back this way.
No, you can you can climb all the way around. Ow. Yeah. My booty yeah. stuck too. Booty, booty, booty. Okay, boy. Stacy, this is bad filmmaking right now. Let's go. No, arc, arc. Keep going around, all the way around. Mm. Yeah, you're doing good, though. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, easy for you. Oh. Hold on for your mother. Yeah, we're waiting for your mother. One, two, three, jump! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, look up. Look up, Blue. Blue, right there. Got it. Hmm. Careful, boy. I know. Big step. I left you at the easy part. Hmm. All the trail. Yeah. That is? What? That's a stick insect. A stick insect? Yeah, it looks just like a stick, huh? Yeah. That's pretty cool, huh? Oh, look at him go. You can't even get him. No, he doesn't want to be picked up. Pretty wild, right? Yeah. That's called camouflage. Camouflage? Yeah, just like my hat. Yeah. Up on him. And right next to our stick insect. Not a millipede. It's not quite Bigfoot, but it's going to have to do. Push it! Push! I can't! No, I can't! Can you climb up there? Yeah. Good. Yeah. You're still there. And jump right in that little hole right there. One, two, three, jump. Good job. You can climb up. Yeah. All right, do it to it. Do it carefully. Yeah, go that way. I don't see them. Need help? No shame in help, dear. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Daddy, how about you go first? Looks like we gotta jump across. Hey, we made it to the summit, everyone. And we found a nice little cave to have lunch in. You having fun? Yes. Yeah, super cool trail, huh? 
so you didn't talk like a nobody. Yeah, that's the highlight of your day, huh? <laughs> Everybody's happy because we're on our descent. Oh, they're happy. So, I gotta say, out of all the mountains I climbed this year, and there's been quite a few awesome ones, Old Rag is probably the coolest name out of all of them. Uh, there was Mount Washington, boring, yawn. Uh, Mount Whiteface, that's, that's a neat name, but it's, it's kind of normal, really. I'm sure there's a lot of mountains out there called Whiteface. Uh, Mount Colden, another boring one. Colden Trap Lake, that's a little cooler sounding, but uh, definitely doesn't hold a candle with the old rag. Uh, it's just a, got a neat little ring to it. Old rag gets its name from, well, it's a granite mountain, but it's a very specific type of granite that forms this mountain. Uh, it's called Old Rag Granite, actually. That's formed from a tectonic plate shift that's spewing up lava from the earth, and it quickly forms, uh, quickly solidifies, and creates old rag granite. I, I, I want to say that it solidifies so quickly that it doesn't get to burn out impurities, so there's a lot of other uh, minerals in these rocks out here. A lot of feldspar, a lot of uh, semi-precious stone too. Um, they said that there's a big quantity of garnet out here. Uh, I've been keeping my eyes open, but no luck, haven't found any. It's a shame. Uh, it was here that ruby is the, uh, the pretty red rock. Uh, for jewelry, but personally, I think uh, garnet's a lot more noble looking. Uh, but anyway, um, these mountain ranges, uh, Blue Ridge Mountains down here in Virginia, are actually formed not by glaciers, but by uh, a supercontinental shift. A lot of people have heard of Pangaea. You can see pictures of that online. Uh, that's when all the continents were fitted together uh, into one solid landmass. Um, and I didn't know this, but allegedly there was a few of those events throughout history. Uh, prior to Pangaea, there was one called Rodinia, which when the, when the continents came together, they clashed, moved the tectonic plates, and spewed up all the lava which turned into granite and formed these Blue Ridge Mountains down here. Uh, I find that to be super interesting. I don't claim to know too, too much about those early historical events of earth uh, but i do find them interesting especially now that i have a a four-year-old who eats breathes lives dies dinosaurs let me hear a dino cry ah! it's always good for that so guys we are just about done sir done once we get to that sign finally but my wife's a a math nerd so let's go over the numbers to appease her we got ourselves a total of 9.4 miles and 5 hours and 25 minutes. That's not bad at all. Not too bad. I'd say so, that's a win. Certainly a win. And with a total of... I can't see how much uh, downtime we had. But we probably had quite a bit, uh, which is understandable considering we're, we're tired. <laughs> Everyone's tired. Uh, the the walk back from the summit is actually really, really boring, really, really long. The only good point about the whole thing was we were uh, swarmed by a flock of butterflies, probably about what, 30 to 40 of them throughout the day. So that's always kind of nice. Um, so there you go, old rag. Pretty cool hike to do. If you guys are ever in the uh, Washington, D.C. area, go hit yourselves up a couple of uh, museums, and when you get tired of the crowds, come out here. Just make sure you come on a uh, Tuesday morning like we did, otherwise you'll be swarmed with crowds. Uh, yeah, and that's that. Hey, we are all done. There's the car. Checking out. Be awesome to each other and do not litter.